This video is sponsored by Cricut. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm super excited to be using the Cricut Auto Press for the first time. I'm going to be using it to make tote bags today, but I also do intend to use this in the future on sort of sublimation products like my mouse mats, coasters, and hopefully more. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Summer rain on the window Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall Maybe I'll be 
so these are the finished tote bags and I'm so happy with how they turned out um, I did increase the time that I did them for for the second one because this one I did notice this bit sort of peeled a bit so I kind of just put it in for like I think five or seven seconds maybe um, and just kind of reheated it and it stuck down and it's fine now so basically when I did this one I did it for 25 seconds rather than 20 and I didn't have any issues with any of that so yeah that's what I'll probably do going forward but I'm really happy with how they turned out I think they look really nice and they feel really nice like I kind of almost expected like heat transfer vinyl to have more I don't know like that really like plasticky texture but it feels really nice like even the bits where you can really feel it like on these sort of bigger areas it's just really soft and kind of velvety to feel So as you can see the tote bags turned out really really nice I was actually so happy with them I haven't really massively used heat transfer vinyl that much um, so I wasn't really sure how it would go but I actually really liked how sort of crisp and nice the design looks with heat transfer vinyl and of course I was really excited to get to use the auto press for the first time and as someone who's never used one of these style heat presses before I found it so easy the fact it opens automatically when it's done and the fact that you can close it just with two fingers makes it really just easy for a beginner. I did use the heat guide on Cricut's website, I can link that below in the description but it just gives you kind of general times and temperatures for certain projects and certain materials. Um, definitely use them as a guide, that's what I did. I used them, kind of tried and if I thought it needed more heat or more uh, time then I'd just add that to it. But yeah, you'll definitely see more of me using this for sublimation products. It's going to make mouse mats so much easier and I'm really excited to try it on lots of other products. So look forward to seeing that. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!